Coco and Shay, make sure that we do some men. Coco and Shay, make sure that we do some men. Coco and Shay, make sure that we do some men. Some kids can be your main sweets if you're ready for it. channel today I'm giving you African goddess vibes with my turban and also these earrings aren't they absolutely gorgeous these are from Etsy I actually just searched African clip-on earrings for those who don't know and are new to my channel I am non pierced now and I often find my earrings on Etsy or Amazon. So if you just search African earrings on Etsy you should see a great deal of options these also came in black and I believe one other color, but I got the wooden color. And it's just a girl with the high puff. How cool is that? But let's get into this video. Today's video is going to be about this new wig that I got from Tennessee. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a new company that I have not worked with before, but I've seen pretty good reviews on this company. This is how it's spelled. Tennessee? Tennessee? Tennessee here? Hmm. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but we're going to get into this unit. I did get some little goodies in my packaging. I believe this is like a mirror and we have our gorgeous wig. So this is what the hair looks like. Oh, it feels really good. And this density though, this is really voluminous. Y'all, I got 250% density. This is the thickest straight hair that I've ever gotten. And this is the body weight texture. It is so dense, y'all. So now we're gonna get into the prep and also the installation process. Before we move on, be sure to push that subscribe button. Also, like this video if you learn anything or if you like anything in this video, even if it's my head scarf. <laughs> like this video, leave a comment. Let's do this, y'all. All right, y'all, so this is what the entire construction of the unit looks like. I did get my unit in a size medium. It comes with two combs on the side and also one in the middle. It is a lace front construction. It is pre-plucked, but minimally. There wasn't a whole lot done, so you would need to customize it if you want it to look really natural. But because we're doing a middle part, I'm not gonna pluck the sides. I'm only gonna do some tweezing in the center. This is what the parting space looks like. There's about four and a half inches of parting space, which is a very good allotment for parting. And if you've been a part of the fam for a little bit, you already know what the next step entails. I'm just using the Sally Hansen Airbrush Spray, spraying that all over the lace to conceal these knots. And then we're gonna move on to the so next So now step. this is what the parting looks like currently. It looks so much more polished. And this is just a quick alternative to tinting and also concealing the knots. For this particular slay video, I won't be doing the ball cap method this time, but I am wearing a stocking cap that's my scarf color I'm now going to apply the unit and I am going to do a bit of a different technique I'm going to start off by parting the hair straight down the middle I typically don't do middle parts but we're trying something new so we're going to do that and after we've done that I do need to clean up the area where I sprayed the Sally Hansen spray and then we're going to move on to actually pulling back the lace a bit and then I'm going to apply my adhesive whether that adhesive for you is wig glue or if you use gossipy glue in the black bottle if you use free spray use that but I like the yellow bottle so we're just going to apply that all around the front parameter and then after I've done that I'm going to use my blow dryer on the cool setting in order to dry it until it gets tacky when that is finished I'm going to touch it to make sure that I feel that it's tacky and then I'm going to begin to pull it forward over the area where I placed the glue or the got to be glue jail y'all know what I'm talking about <laughs> so once we've done that guys you want to make sure that you place it and it's placed completely over that area and it covers your hairline now I do have a low hairline so sometimes this can be a bit tricky and because this was my first time I feel like it can be done much better next time so after doing this I am applying an elastic band just to make sure it sets well when this is complete, I'm going to grab my mousse. I'm going to put that on the area where my parting is because I do want that area at the top to be really flat. And then I'm going to apply a scarf to set that and make sure that it flattens it out even more. And I'm going to keep my elastic band as well as my scarf on for about 10 minutes. When the 10 minutes is up, I'm going to take it off, removing the scarf first, and then I'm going to remove my elastic band. 
as you can see, everything is nice and laid. Now, this is my first time using this technique. And if I use it again, I'm going to try to pull the hairline up a bit further because I did have some areas where my hairline was still kind of sticking out. But we just got to keep working at it and we'll get it down. So now I'm going to use a razor in order to cut off the lace in the front. You all can just watch that process. Now, let me just tell y'all, I have to give props to every woman who goes through this process and cuts it off while it's on their head and does a flawless job. Because y'all, this is difficult for me. I struggle, struggle, struggle when it comes to cutting off the lace while it's on my head. I have to do it on a mannequin head. I probably won't ever do this again because this was challenging. But we continued on with the process. If you're like me and this is challenging, y'all do it while it's on the mannequin hair. It's so much easier. And I probably will also use scissors because the razor, yeah, the struggle was real. All right, so now that the lace is off, we now have to go into the areas where maybe I did not apply enough of the Gossip Be Goo Gel and apply some more. And as you all can see, there's still some lace that's there, but it's pretty much gelled down or glued down at this point. So I'm just gonna leave it and use it as though it's like a stocking cap and just cover it with baby hair. Now using the end of my red tail comb, I'm gonna press into the lace in the areas where it's still lifted. And we're just gonna make sure that's all down. And then I'm gonna move on to creating baby hair on the side to conceal those areas. When I'm finished with the baby hair, I'm gonna add some edge control just to create a sleeker look. And then I'm gonna begin to tweeze out the front hairline just to make sure that it looks even more natural. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. together y'all so this unit is looking really good right now and you could leave it as is the body waves that are in the unit look wonderful but I decided that I wanted to add a few more curls in the front just to refine the look I've been stuck on my memory, but it's not like I need it and you may have some history but we don't have to repeat So overall, I would say that this is very good quality hair. This is virgin Brazilian texture, and y'all, it can stand some heat. I have my flat iron on 450, and it held a curl very nicely, and I'm really enjoying the length, the density, and just everything about it. So I'm going to turn around so y'all can see the back so you can see how long it is and everything. I'm also going to show you the hair from different angles so y'all can get a vibe of how glorious this unit is. Be sure to check the description box for the link to this particular unit from Tennessee Hair. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I love y'all. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Share it with a friend and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys. I just need to